How in the world are y'all tonight? Guys, I'm Mike Ginn, and I live in Lexington, Mississippi, and thank you for bringing yourself and your families with me on the road with the SPRA. The dates were June the 18th and 19th. That was last weekend. We saddled back up with Mr. Danny Hedrick and Hedrick Rodeo Company, and we struck out for Blairsville, Georgia. We kept riding until we saw the sign that said, Blairsville Pro Rodeo 10th Annual Next Right. We pulled up on the reins and that's where all of the action happened. Mr. Danny Hedrick brought all of the award winning stock as normal. Guys, he never ceases to amaze me. Just when you think he got as good as he can get, he turns up the gas and he brings the better buckers on the horse and the bull in and this rodeo was no exception. Blairsville Pro Rodeo, www.blairsvilleprorodeo.com. That's Mr. Art Miller. Guys, he is leading the charge with the Blairsville Pro Rodeo Committee. He is the chairman. He does an, a fabulous job over there. Uh, from the minute you come in the gate to the time you leave and get back in your car, it is one million percent entertainment with Mr. Art and the Blairsville Pro Rodeo Committee. That's Miss Alyssa McFarland that he's pictured there with. Uh, multiple time SPFR qualifier. Just love that family to death. Thank you for all that you do for the SPRA. This is one way that Mr. Danny Hedrick turned up the fire as well. He went all the way up to the Show Me State of Missouri, Bradleyville, Missouri's on. Mr. Dylan Gross made his way down to the Peach State, sat in the driver's seat, picked up the mic, carried all the fans through the action both nights. And when I say action, I'm talking about action in the arena, action packed in the stands, standing room only at this rodeo, Great rodeo and a great job to you, Dylan. Dylan teamed up with the cowboy from down in South Louisiana. Down there where the alligators roll in the crawfish bowl, they say, laissez les bouton roule. That means they let the good times roll in Blairsville, Georgia with the dancing Cajun, my buddy, Mr. Heath Bro. Let me tell you, Guys, Mr. Dylan Gross did a job on this opening that was absolutely second to none. The Pro Rodeo Committee there in Blairsville, Georgia, thought so well out of the box. Right now, they're introducing a 95-year-old Korea War veteran and World War II war veterans taking their hats off. Guys, I tip my resist all to him as well.
Is this the first time you've been to our little town? That's not the thing to me. said, I don't like to brag, but we're kind of proud of that bag of the flag. You see, we got a little hole in that flag. But here from Washington, took it across the Delaware. If you got a gun, I don't The knife for instance, Scott Key said, watch it get right. I'm safe if you see. He got a bad grip in New Orleans. Texas flag, but she waited on them. She got cut with a sword and transferred to it. But she got cut again and shot over him. There was Robert E. Lee, Bowie Hart, and Bragg, and the South went a little harder on that ragged old flag. On Flanders Hill in World War I, she got a big hole from the birth of God. She turned blood red in World War II. She hung land and blow in time or two. She was in Korea and Vietnam. She waited when she was sent by the Mississippi. She waited for our ships to fall and bring it home. And now, they have not quit waiting her back home. In her own good land, here she's been abused. She's been burned, dishonored, denied, and refused. And the government for which she stands is scandalized throughout the land. And she's being threaded of hair and wearing a pin. But she's in good shape for the shape she's in. Because she's been through the fire before. And I believe she can take it a whole lot So we raise her up every morning and we take her down at night. We don't let her touch the ground and we pull her up right. On second thoughts, I do like to brag. Because I'm mighty proud of that ragged little flag. Standing in front of you with 18 years of service leading tonight's honor is a man that has an act to do. He's got a Robert's Air Force, Robert's Air Force Base. First Sergeant Matthew Miller. Beside him are service men and service ladies that make for a hard, great man. As they fly high, we can lose one more beautiful young lady. A young lady who was born on July 4th of 1776. And for the first time ever, she flew high, high, and free in the wind in June of 1777. She represents our freedom. She represents the ones that have come on before us that have been her honor. She represents one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Ladies and gentlemen, give me a round of applause for Mary Clark, the one and only old boy. As she stands out there, does she make you proud of the Mary and Katie Miller of Georgia? Guys, if that don't light your fire, your wood's wet. I guarantee you. Art, you and your committee. My hat is off to you guys for thinking outside of the box. And Dylan Gross, absolutely phenomenal job presenting our flag at a great rodeo. Thank you for all you do for the Western way of life and the family lifestyle of rodeo. Well, we got past our God, Family, and Country opening we got straight into the meat of things. The most physically demanding event in rodeo, our bareback bronc riding. We kicked it off with the number four cowboy in the SPRA standings. He's currently number one in the rookie race as well. Mr. West Mitchell showed us 66 points to go to the pay window and pick up that second place check. Then the cowboy, Mr. Andrew Capilla. I've been seeing Andrew's name around a lot lately. He's been doing a great job. He did a great job in Blairsville with 81 championship points, and we say congratulations to you.
That took us to the classic event of rodeo, our saddle bronc riding. This is where it all started over 150 years ago. In second place with 70 points is the Bluegrass State Bronx Stomper, Mr. Rudy Troyer. He's holding the number one position with the SPRA right now, and he has over a $1,200 lead doing it. He came right in there behind the Cowboys. That's right, two Cowboys split first with 71 championship points. One of those Cowboys is Mr. Jay Johns. The other Cowboy is currently number seven in the SPRA standings. He hails from Dalton, Georgia. We say congratulations to you, Hayden Phipps and Jay John. That took us to the Pretty Cowgirls, roping necks, cash in checks, breaking the ropes away from the saddle horn. These are your breakaway roping results. In third place, it was split between two very talented cowgirls. Miss Emmy Finley, this cowgirl is currently number 12 in the SPRA standings. And when she ropes and hangs in there, with Piedmont, Alabama's own Miss Tabitha Owens, she's doing something right, and she's doing it in a big way. 2.6 on both those runs to earn those cowgirls the third place win. Second place with a 2.2 goes to Miss Kelsey Mabry. Kelsey has been one of those cowgirls that I've seen come up through the ranks. She's pretty much born with a rope in her hand. Her whole family is what I call super bad. 2.2 gets her a second place check in Blairsville, Georgia. Then the cowgirl from Pickens, South Carolina, Colby Whipsell. The rope says pop, the clock says 2.1 to captivate the win. Yeah, we retired the cowgirls from the arena. Let's bring in the cowboys. This event, more moves in it than any other event in rodeo. Something we still use on the working ranches every day of the week. This is your tie down calf roping. From Hatchet Chevy, Alabama, Blake Bryant takes third with a 10 flat. The Hoboken, Georgia Cowboy, currently top five in the SPRA standings. Cord Spradley shows us a 9.9 .9 to earn him a second place win. And then Trevor Boatwright, 9.2 to tie up the win in the calf rope. Let's go to the big man. This is your steer wrestling. Kobe Daniel, the top 10 steer jumper, also leading our rookie race right now. He shows us 5.9 to sneak in there to the pay window. We go from the rookie to the veteran steer jumper from the volunteer state. Troy Orr, he's been doing it right, and he's been doing it right for a long time. 5.1 seconds puts one on the ground and takes home third. The all-around cowboy from right, Waycross, Georgia, Mr. Justin Thigpen. Currently number one in the all-around race, number three in the steer wrestling standings. 4.9 seconds takes him to the pay window. He reaches his hand out. They give him a second place check. Taking home absolutely everything we could give him. Cody Miller changes the steer's direction for the win with a 4.8 in the steer wrestling. We got the big men out of the arena. We brought the dynamic duos of rodeo in. 
These are your headers and healers and our team roping results. We kicked it off in the second place position with the brother duo from Hogansville, Georgia. Mr. Will Payton and Gunnar Payton give us a 5.1 to get that second place win. Then Bradley Massey and Adam Plyer topple everybody over for the win in the team roping. Well, we get the Cowboys out of the arena. We set up three cans and a cloverleaf pattern, and we get the Cowgirls in there. This is what I like to call horse racing, and y'all know I like to call it rodeo style. Blairsville, Georgia prides themselves on the shape their ground is in and a super nice facility. The barrel racers come out of the woodworks for this rodeo, and there was some stiff, stiff competition right there in Blairsville, Georgia. Sneaking into the last hole is your number one rookie, the University of West Alabama Tiger Wrangler, Ms. Olivia Williams, gets around the cans. 13-6-28, sneaks her into the pay window. In fifth position, the hometown team of Ms. Alyssa McFarland and her horse, the one she calls Tennessee. They lay down a smoke in 13542 to get there to the pay window and keep stacking that added money up just like Lego blocks to try to earn their way in the Elite 15 to your 2022 SPFR. Josie Thompson, that cowgirl comes in and shows the crowd a 13538. Miss Annie Grace Mac. Elahan, I think that's the name. Miss Annie Grace, she got around the clover leaf in a 13-471 to get the third place check. Then we went to the powerhouse team from Ranger, Georgia. I'm talking about Miss Julie Thomas and the horse she calls Amos. Here comes Amos, guys. 13-470 is what that team showed us to take home the second place prize. That's when the magic happened. Hogansville, Georgia is where the team hails from. They are a former SPFR average champion team. I'm talking about Ms. Lauren Pringle and the horse she calls Maverick. Now, I'm going to show you their run. Just a minute. i got to get a few things right. <laughs> We're going to have to bear with me just a second. I have to go over here to my messenger. Let's go to Mac Ginn. Let's go to Hogansville, Georgia. Now I'm going to stop it. Hold on. I'm going to stop it. I'm going to do this. I'm going to stop it again. I'm going to do this because we want to do that. Check this out. Lauren and this Greek in the arena. Bam! Around one over to number two. Folks, down to number three. They mean business, you like? The race car effect to the finish line. Bujal, how about a 13 38 to cinch up the win and get us all to the finish line at your 10th annual Blairsville, Georgia Pro Rodeo. Congratulations to you, Lauren. Guys, you and Mav have been phenomenal this year. We look forward to the big things from you and your steed in 2022. Guys, my name is Mike Ginn and I live in Lexington, Mississippi. I know that was a little bit of a lengthy, uh, a lengthy recap for Blairsville, but I'm telling you, when you have a committee like the Blairsville Pro Rodeo Committee, when you have a stock contractor like uh, 
Mr. Danny Hedrick and Hedrick Rodeo Company. When you have Heath Bro, the Dancing Cajun, bringing the funny and the phenomenal Dylan Gross behind the microphone, and you have an opening like that and a crowd that that is literally that electric, you want to showcase everything they do to show off all of the hard work that they put into this rodeo www.spra-rodeo.net That's where you can find us. That's where you can keep up with the standings. That's where you can keep up with the schedule and where we will be close to you on the road with the SPRA.